Well, hello there. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, I'm Cal, the creator of the Grimdark Resource Pack Collection. Either way, you're probably here to check out my latest texture pack, the Spruced Up Block Pack. And if you haven't already figured it out from the name of the pack, this one's all about replacing as much of the wood in the decorative block textures with spruce as possible, along with adding some consistency to the iron bits of those textures and just generally updating some of the vanilla block textures to fit better in your medieval fantasy and steampunk worlds. All right, here in my inventory, you can see most of the blocks that I have retextured. As you can see, these blocks come primarily from the decoration blocks category, the redstone category, and a few from the transportation category. And that's really the intent of this pack. I have no plans or desire to retexture every block in the game. I actually prefer to build with the vanilla blocks, but some of the decorative blocks I feel really benefit from a quick touch up. Now I started with the crafting table and the storage chest, but from there I've retextured a number of the other crafting tables. I've redone all of the glass textures. I've also redone most of the lighting and the rails, the iron bars, iron chains, tripwire hook, and the lever so that the iron bits match the anvil and cauldron a little bit better. Now, for anyone who is already familiar with my resource packs, you might be looking at that piston and saying, hey, that is a new texture and you are right. Not only am I releasing my spruced up pack today, but I'll have an update for the battle pack as well that will add this texture to that pack along with some other tweaks. Now, let's take a look around this storage room in my new base design that I've been working on for a future episode from my Let's Play series. All right, here is the storage room with no resource pack turned on. You can see that the chests have their natural texture. Those item frames have what I would consider sort of a birch maybe border on them. It might be close to oak. I think it kind of splits the difference. The crafting table is super bright, almost feels out of place. The candles look a little bit unrealistic to me. And uh, it's subtle, but on the chains and those lanterns, there's a bluish tint that I don't think quite matches, well, you can see it for yourself compared to those hoppers, it's not the same color of iron, which just doesn't make sense to me. All right, let's turn that resource pack back on. All right, now you guys can clearly see the difference. This has much more of a vibe to it. It's, it's much richer. If you're someone who loves to build with spruce and dark oak and that combination of wood textures, you're probably gonna love this pack because it makes your storage rooms look so neat and clean and everything just kind of like matches so well. So let's take a, a quick look around here and uh, see some of these textures in action. So you can see these barrels are the vanilla texture, but the armor stands now match the barrels pretty well along with these trap doors. You can see I've got just these standard chests here stacked up matching the wood so nicely. Uh, these are the standard item frames. The glow frames have the same frame around the edge, but obviously they've got a lighter background. Uh, now this background on the item frames does match my leather textures that are in the Grimdark Battle Pack as well as my items pack. So if you do want the corresponding leather textures to match, go pick that one up. The edges of the stone cutter are also spruce now rather than oak. Now for the inner chest, I didn't change it to spruce obviously. What I did was I increased the contrast and reduced the saturation a little bit. And I think that makes it feel like it fits in your Minecraft world a little bit better. You can see the lectern also matches the spruce textures and uh, I've also updated the book textures in here. This is consistent with my bookshelves, which also have connected texture capability. Without Optifine, that does mean that they connect to any texture in the game. I think it still works pretty well. I think the default bookshelves are just a little bit too bright for my taste. There is the composter, again, now made out of spruce rather than oak. Let's take a look at the bedroom over here. There you can see the glow frames on the wall. Compare those to the regular frames. Over here we have a tripwire hook. Perfect match to the barrel now. And underneath it is scaffolding, which also looks even better as a table in spruce. You can see the spruce logs for the campfire. And that is about all that there is to see on this floor. Oh, iron bars there coming out of the wall. Let's head upstairs real quick. You can see the glass here. Connected textures on the glass powered by Optifine. That is the white glass. Now for the more colorful glass, I actually used a slightly different pattern. So without those crossbars on it, you can still use this to create that fog effect that was uh, super popular a couple years ago. I use it in some of my builds, so I didn't want to take away that capability. So there is the lime and the green, and then over here, 
This is actually the brown glass. The only one that I did these crossbars on are the white, light gray, gray, and black, which I primarily use as windows in my builds. I, I don't really use those for the fog effect. I use the color glass. Uh, a bit of a compromise there, but again, this pack was designed around the way that I use these blocks in my builds. So right here, you can see my rail textures. I've swapped the wood beams to be spruce, and uh, I've matched the iron rails to the hopper. And uh, that is just about all there is to see here. So there you go. There it is back in the vanilla textures. Uh, Optifine is still running, and I think it has the capability to, to uh, connect those vanilla item textures. So that's why you're seeing those connected glass textures, even without a resource pack. The default glass actually looks kind of modern to me, which is, is good if that's what, you know, if that's the build style that you're going for. But uh, for me, I personally build a lot of fantasy and medieval stuff, so. All right, for anyone who wanted a slightly closer look at the pistons, here they are. Uh, you can see around the edges here, this is sort of the wrought iron color palette that I am using for most of my block textures. Again, to match the anvil cauldron hopper. And then obviously we've got spruce up on the top and uh, I, I changed up the slime a bit on this. It, I just wanted it to really pop, right? I wanted it to really stand out. That's very obvious that you got a sticky piston there. All right, guys, so that is about all there is to it. This pack is available on Planet Minecraft. I will eventually be uploading it to Curse as well. This pack is available for both the Java and Bedrock editions of Minecraft. Download links are, of course, in the description down below and probably in a pinned comment as well. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoy this pack. I am, of course, still working on more updates for the battle pack for both the Java and Bedrock, along with some new stuff as well. So please bear with me as I slowly chip away at all of the cool stuff that I would like to add to those packs. If you're still watching, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. It helps me and the channel out so much. I hope you also enjoyed getting a sneak peek at my next base build. Like I said, I will be building this real soon on the Common Calamity server. So watch out for that video in the near future. All right, guys, I'm going to call it there for today. Thank you so much for checking out this video and supporting my resource packs. It's great seeing so many new faces here on the channel over the last couple weeks. And if you're not already a subscriber, I would encourage you to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next update. Thanks again for checking out this video. I will see you for the next one real soon. Bye for now, everybody.